distance around an object. When we go around this rectangle, you're going from one side to the other side to the other side and back around. So when we're talking about going around something or the total distance, we want to add the sides together. In this case, they have given you that this side is four inches and this side is two inches. We have to think about what we know about a rectangle to figure out the other two sides. So if this side is four inches, that means this side is four inches because I know that the sides across from each other in a rectangle are the same. So if my one on this side is two inches, that means this side will also be two inches. What I said was that when we go around, we want to add. So to do my number sentence down below, I'm going to first put in my plus signs. Now I need to go around the object to put in my numbers. So I have two plus four plus two plus four. I like to put a little bit of a dot by my numbers to make sure that I've written them on the lines. Now there's a couple of ways that you can add this, but we can do our first two numbers first. So two plus four is six, and then do our second problem, two plus four is six. Then I can do six plus six equals 12. So the distance around is 12 inches. We wanna make sure we write inches so we know we're not talking about bananas. All right, let's look at that one more time. Here, only one side is marked saying that it is four centimeters. We can see that this shape is a square. So knowing what I know about a square, all four sides are the same. So if this one's four centimeters, we have four centimeters, four centimeters, and four centimeters. If I wanna know the distance around, so like a circle, I'm going around this shape. What did I say we needed to do? Add or subtract. Ah, you're right, it's addition. So I'm going to put my plus sign down below. Then I can make sure that I add my numbers by putting a dot as I put them on the line for my number sentence. So I have four plus four plus four plus four. So again, I'm going to do it this way, do the first two together. I know four plus four is eight. That means this problem must be the same. And then I have my doubles fact, eight plus eight is 16. Again, we wanna make sure we're labeling 16 what? Do we have 16 bananas? No, we are working with 16 centimeters this time. So the second part of this lesson is going to be talking about if something is taller or shorter or longer. All of those words tell us that we need to subtract this time. My sentence says, Kim measures the length of the lamps. One is four inches and the other is six inches. How much taller is the green lamp? Okay, let's look. I'm gonna do my cubes. Circle the numbers, underline the question, box the important words, and solve. So my important words were how much taller. That tells me to subtract. So I'm going to set up my problem in my blank space here. So six minus four equals Two. All right, now that we have our answer, 
we need to make sure that we write it with our words. So this one is two inches taller. How much longer is the purple key than the red key? Here's our important words again. How much longer? Okay, should I add or subtract this time? You got it. I need to subtract again. I want to make sure that my bigger number is on top. So is six or three bigger? You're right, the six is bigger, so it goes on top. And then I put my three. And we said subtraction. So six minus three is three. It is three centimeters longer. All right, now it's time for you to practice.